Oh my gosh, these shoes could potentially pay back everything we spent on this unit. That is so crazy. Yeah. Look at all the chains. We found a whole bunch of chains. Oh my gosh. This oh, entire bottom is, is filled cool. with chains. My name's Thomas and I'm an online reseller. Every week, I search all over for some real bargains. I find all sorts of cool stuff. So follow me on my journey and hit that subscribe button. Last week, we lost big time on a $300 storage unit, but there's always another chance. You will miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So this week, we're buying another unit. And I'm going to test a theory. That theory is that bigger is better. I feel like when you're buying a 5x5 or a 5x10 storage unit, you're not getting the whole story. So we bought a 10x20. We won it for $360 and ended up paying about $400 after fees. So let's see how much we're going to make. Hope you enjoy. Can we open it? Open it up. Let's see what we got. I'm afraid to. There's hair. There's hair. Oh, my God. There's hair. Quit freaking out. Get open. Get it open. open. Check it. Yeah. This unit's got a lot of stuff in it. We're gonna find out just what's hidden inside here. Dibs. Dibs, what'd you find? What'd you find? I found a fan. Yeah? Yeah. This is bad. This is gonna be this was nice. Nice. Now the unit doesn't look too pretty at first. But this is a 10. This is a 10 by 20 storage unit, so there's going to be a lot of stuff in here. All we have to do is make back, I think it was 360, right? Well, we cheated. There was a bed in here. We took the mattresses out and two, a washer and dryer as well. So those are already missing. Uh -huh. But with that all being said, what in the world were you thinking? Big. We like big units. Woo! We, big we, we like, like big, big units. units. We can't die. Got some fishing rods right here. These could be pretty good. Future Thomas here and behind me on the ground are a bunch of fishing rods. Now at the time, I didn't really care too much for these rods. I didn't think they were very valuable. I didn't even really buy this storage unit for these fishing rods, but there's some really, really nice fishing rods here. I'll put them up on the screen as I show them. Uh, this one I believe was like $50 to $100, and this one was like $100 to $140. These are just the reels. These are just the reels I'm telling you guys right now. And these ones were a little cheaper, maybe 20 to 30, 20 to 30. Additionally, there's also two other fishing rods that have already found their homes, a pen passion reel and rod combo, and then a stratic fishing reel on a nice rod as well. Those were really nice. I think the pen passion was about 100 and the reel for the stratic was at least 100 by itself. So some really big profits on the fishing rods that I did not think would be worth much at all. So let's jump right back to the video. Not too sure about rods. Oh, Lily, aren't these uh, Yeezys? They're like really beat up, but these are like $100 shoes brand new, right? I'm gonna go ahead and go through this uh, dresser drawer. We got iPhone. You got anything? Got anything? Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Oh, it's a screen. Okay, no iPhone in the case. Usually there's not. People just keep cases, we got earbuds. We're gonna get lucky. Some AirPods. Nope. We might find it uh, in the unit. Let's just get through this. I got the can right here. Um chick. I don't know what that is. Oh, is this a knife? Whoa, this is a, this actually looks like a pretty nice knife. Husky? That might be a good knife. Uh lottery tickets, envelopes. Anything too wild. I want to be careful. I don't want to get stabbed. That wouldn't be bad. That would not be good. Okay, nothing too crazy up front in this top drawer. Moving down. Bags of stuff. That's like garbage. Keep looking. Clothing. Hiding over there. Clothing. No. And no. Okay. Yeah? Inside the dryer there was nothing. Really? But down on the bottom, we found Ooh, all that. Look at all that change. Nice. Whoosh. Where you want it? I don't think it's ever gonna show. Oh, I think I see Tim's. 
Tim's. What's that? Tim, the shoes? Timberlands? Oh, Timberlands. Wait, no, these are the Survive Herman's Professional Survivor Boots. They probably feel something good, though. Yeah, they feel really good. Look at these things. They're actually in good shape, too. What else they got in here? Some old Nikes. Air Max. This could be something there. Polo. Oh. Polo. We like Polo. That's a pretty solid bag right there. Ooh, that's cool. Should that's I a cry? big, like, uh, one of ring these. Light. Big ring light? Yeah. We got a shoe box. Yeah, shoe well, we like shoe boxes. This isn't shoes. This is coffee mugs? Yeah, it's missing one of them, too. <clears throat> Where's the poo? Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll find the other. There might be oh. something worth selling. Oh, look at this big uh, hatchet. That's a that might be worth something. Made in USA. Yeah, okay, I've got my entire table spread. Uh, this is a bunch of newspapers? I bet they have a real Whoa. Yeah, racing stuff. Yep, yeah, the only thing. Yeah, you put all that back in there. And hold on to it. Oh, whoa. What'd you find? A racing jacket. That's probably like at least 50, 60 bucks right there. Yeah. I'd be surprised to find one in this unit. Oh, we got shoes. Whoa. Polo with the tag. Oh, okay, okay. Levi shoes? These are like denim. I think we got the good shoes here. Peter Thomas is back again because we found another item that is expensive and I did not give it enough attention. Behind me. The Jordans. These things, when I looked them up, were selling between anywhere between a hundred and up to eleven hundred dollars. Um, I've done my own little research on the side and I believe these are legit. But the uh, sneakerheads, feel free to let me in the comments if I am wrong. I'm actually going to take these over to the photo box so you can see them a little closer just so you guys can correct me. Look at that. I love this photo box. These things are nice. It needs some strings, but they're very nice. I'm going to add 150 to the profit total. Uh, if I am wrong, correct me in the comments. Brand new shoes. George slippers? Yeah. George is a cheaper brand. What the heck is that? Is this all change? What? Ooh, okay. What the heck is this? Oh, we have a ninja blender. No way. Isn't this like 60, 80 bucks right there? Ninja blender? Oh, yeah, this is worth $5. Oh, what's worth $5? Oh, maybe if you're lucky. I mean, if I'm lucky, it's five dollars. <laughs> Look at what I found. Yeah. Was oh, this bottom one got it too? I don't know what it is. Oh, sweet! A bunch of two-dollar bills and a bunch of change. That's at least twenty bucks right there. Are there any silver certificates in there? I we find them sometimes. Um, doesn't look like it. There's stars. But money's always good. We like to find money. Remove cover before use. What is this? It's, I guess it's to sterilize your combs. Oh. Scissors. What? It's a salon sterilizer. Mom this, want that. Ooh, this would be good for mom. Sweet. Ooh. We have a HP laptop. That thing looks really nice, actually. Okay. I wonder if that's worth anything. And then another HP laptop. I'm opening it the wrong way. That one's a little more used, a little bigger. Let's see. Chromebook. Anything else in there? I'm sure there is. So dig and find it all. How much to eat one, Lily? How much? Yeah. I'm hungry. I kind of want to eat some of these. They kind of look good. <laughs> oh, they're Birkenstocks. Is that a good thing? Yeah. 
Really? These are like one hundred forty dollars shoes. Oh wow! Really? <gasps> They're my size. Your size. <laughs> What do, what do you, you think? What do you think? What do you think it is? Uh, is this a toolbox? No. Toolbox. I know you're playing with me. Oh. oh that thing out. Wow. Poe and Pro. Wow. Is it a pawn? Yeah. yeah. That's a nice, nice saw. Nice saw? Oh, yeah. He's got the second bar. The... Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Freddy Krueger? No. Is it Freddy Krueger? I don't think it is. A Jason. Jason. Oh. Jason? That might have been the one. Yep. Nice. Oh, it's a oh weed whacker? It's an echo. Echo weed whacker. That's actually pretty good. It's a good one? Yes, yeah. it is. Woo! Oh, I see a die cast car box. Uh -uh. Yeah. Oh, there's an Xbox in there. What? Yeah, there's a whole Xbox in there. Ooh, Controllers. Oh, look at all these cameras. Are these Arlo's? No, they're Mercury. Ooh. This car's been smushed. What the heck? But still, the car could be worth something. This Xbox is uh, it's probably worth some money. Oh, I love the controllers. The controllers are sick. I'll probably keep these controllers. I won't even sell them. <laughs> Ring? It's a doorbell or something? Or, yeah. Yeah. Xbox One S. I think this is like 80 to 100 bucks. 80 to 100 dollars? Yeah. Is it a newer one? Uh, it's the one that I have. It's like for 2016 I think it was made. Um, oh, this is another good box too. Box. Ooh. Air Force Ones. White Air Force Ones. Oh, we got hats. Oh, these look so nice. Oh. Okay, this one's a little wacky. Wow. They've got their, um, like, things with them. Those are nice. Okay, we got some nice stuff here. I found the perfect bag. All full of hair. Yay. And food. Kit Kats and hair. That's disgusting. If you ever see me try to sell hair on eBay, you better stop me right there, as I have gone too far. What is that? What is that? Part of an engine? Part of a car engine. Why are they saving that? I mean, I don't think they're... Because what they do is they put a new intake manifold on it, and if it goes bad, they'll actually fold that one back in the box and put it back in the box and said it failed and they'll return it for the money. Really? Every part. Oh, wow. I've seen that before. Whoa. Some funny business going on. Those are some cool tools you found. It's a pretty big fan. No electric in here? No. It's 95 degrees in here. You think it's electric? Oh, it was electric. <laughs> it's very hot in here. We are uh, uncovering some cool little toys. It's a big uh, toy car. And then another one over there. And then we get some more boxes to go through. Uh, hopefully we can find some nice stuff in the boxes. We got a tricycle. Looks okay. And then, ooh, car jack. Ooh. Like Where's, the handle? That. Where's the handle? Uh, it's probably on the ground right there. You sure it's it? No. This is a pass. It's signed. Uh, I found something signed, Dad. What's that? NASCAR? Oh, nice. See that? Uh-huh. Uh, it's like attached. What is this? Okay. This is key. a pit pass. It's a signed pit pass. Oh, there's jewelry in here, too. Look at that. That might be something, might be nothing. Won't know for sure. Oh, this is a whole NASCAR book. And there's like coins down there. No coins, though. Gotta look, maybe there could be like a signature or something. That's still a nice book. I'm sure that's worth something. Ooh, we got money. What? You got money? Whoa, a whole bag of money. You got a bag of money. What? Yeah, look at all that change. Uh-uh. Oh, my lord. Hey, uh, look. I wonder how much that's worth in change. Oh, no. No. You're in here. It might be overflowing. Or it's perfect. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. 
Look at this. Look at all the chains. You found a whole bunch of chains. Oh my god. This oh, entire that bottom is, is filled cool. with chains. Dad, we're gonna need a bigger change jar. And what the heck is this thing? Like a foot bath, maybe? I don't know. It's got a plastic still on it. It's in this box. I'm not sure. Wax operating instructions. Now we are back at the house, but before we let you go, I want to show you how much money we pulled out of this storage unit. This jar right here, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. But not only is it uh, quarters, uh, nickels, dimes, they have half dollars, and I pulled out four of these one dollar coins as well. So it's a mix of some really, really good coins. I think if I dug in there, I could probably find another, yeah, I see another gold one, I think. Maybe, I don't know, but I'm getting distracted. <laughs> But, um, and then we have a bunch of these other coins right here. And they've got this weird, they've got this really weird, um, like a chemical or some kind of powder on them. If anybody knows how to get that off of these certain coins that have it, because not all of them have it, let me know in the comments. So, let me know in the comments so I could, uh, get the full value of this money and not have to throw anything away. And then we come over here, we found a bunch of these $2 bills. And these are actually looking really nice. Don't see any, uh, star notes, but what was that? Four, uh, eight, 12, 16, 20, 22 dollars right there. Some more change. And these two little die cast uh, cars. It'll probably be about 40 bucks right there. But um, yeah, there's so much uh, money in here. Really good find for the unit. Love to find money in storage units. We ended up keeping a lot of stuff from the storage unit as well. Uh, a ton of tools, um, equipment like the weed whacker, lawn mowers, uh, blowers, chainsaws, a lot of stuff. We probably ended up keeping, not selling, about a thousand dollars worth of stuff from this unit, which is crazy. But I mean, we're gonna make our money back very easily. So it is nice to keep some things for the house when you can. Additionally, the storage unit was about 90 degrees while we were going through it pretty much the whole time. So if you notice we're very sweaty and my camera's very shaky, um, sorry about that. The recording definitely could have been better. Still, I'm glad we got the unit and I hope you enjoyed it just as so much as we did. Thank you for watching.